Beautified Makers, it's Lila with LB Novelties, and today I'm going to be filming a video all in preparation for Go Wild. I'll be heading to Go Wild in April, and I'm so excited to meet fellow vibe makers as well as attend for the very first time. So in regards to Go Wild prep, I want to um, do some DIY projects because I love doing DIY and really putting my planner items to use. I did purchase a mini cover from the Fabulous Planner that will be going on this planner. This is the planner I am setting up and getting all situated for everything regarding Go Wild because I'll be putting it inside my deluxe cover and that's what I'll be carrying with me daily while I'm at Go Wild. But of course I want some stickers. I did purchase a sticker sheet from the sticker party that will be arriving soon as well as some washi tape. I wanted to purchase some merchandise from Go Wild but I also wanted to make some fun things on my own. So I have this journaling sticker book which you guys know I love and I have several of them so this is a fun way to put these to use. And what I'm planning on doing is kind of prepping this for myself. I'm not going to use them today. I'm just going to decorate them and get them all set up and ready for me. When I actually start planning out spreads and elements inside this planner, I can bring this out, peel it, and it'll be my own DIY sticker sheet for Go Wild. So let's get to it and having fun. Okay, so again, I have the journaling sticker book here, the 1868 one. Um, this you can find at Hobby Lobby, and I believe they have this at Joam. I love this one. You guys know I have several um, uh, sticker books of this one. The reason I love it, I'm telling you guys, it's honestly just a blank page, and you can decorate these at any color you want. Um, and I've been using these in my planner for a little over a year now. Now what I want to do is decorate this sticker sheet. So I will pull this out and that way I can have it ready to go when I do um, my planning and stuff for Go Wild. Another thing that I wanted to show you guys, um, I really want to do countdown stickers because I, I want to start counting down that Go Wild's coming up. So what I like is in the front page, they have these little like um, markers. So I think I can use these or even these ones as my Go Wild countdown to like one day, two days, color them in and just have fun with it. Um, they don't have to be super decorative since they're really tiny, but the ones I could get really decorative are these ones. So I'm gonna show you um, two ways to kind of like set them up and get them situated and have your own little DIY sticker sheets. Now, if you don't have these sticker books, you can also just use your colorful boxes. And you guys have seen my video where I decorate colorful boxes. And these are basically a journaling sticker just with a border. So you can use your art markers on this, decorate it, have it ready to go, and then just pull out your sheet when it's time to head to go wild. Um, and you can use this uh, format of decorating stickers for anything. It doesn't even have to be just designated for Go Wild. Maybe you do summer theme, um, Christmas, your birthday week, whatever it is. Um, and you have these all set up and ready to go if you have some free time. Uh, but I just want to have these situated for me so when I go and plan out for Go Wild, I can actually use some of my own stickers. So I have my art markers here. I love using two brands. I have um, Artist Loft. So this is Artist Loft. This is a really inexpensive one at Michael's. And then there's the Copic one, and this one's really good too. Both of them are really um, good markers that I use to um, color in. And what I do first whenever I use my stickers is I draw out what I'm going to do, and then I outline it with a micron pen, number one. I outline it, and then I erase any pencil uh, markings that are left, and then I can go in and start coloring it, and it'll be ready and set for me to use when it's time to use it. So let me pull this sheet out and have fun drawing some really cute things for Go Wild. Okay, so I have my two sticker sheets here that I wanna start working on. And first I'm gonna show you how I work on my countdown. And for my countdown, I always like to kind of test out, before I mean any sticker particular, any sticker sheet that I work on, I like to test out my colors on a separate sheet so I can see what colors I want this to be. So I'm just trying to get a purple that I feel will be cool for my countdown. I like that purple. And I do want to blend it in a little bit. So I'm just trying to find, that has a blue tint to it. So it's just a matter of finding the right color I never use. So this is why I'm doing this, it's just testing them out. Now, there is a palm leaf effect. So I'm thinking I wanna do palm leaf. 
So I think for sure I'm going to end up picking this purple as a countdown. I don't think I have another orange that I like because that other one is too... So what I can do too is make this orange and then use the purple as the palm leaf. I think I like that purple. So we're gonna stick with this one. This is called Lavender V5. In case you're wondering, this is the Artist Loft. Now that we've played around testing out colors, I'm gonna color all these in, and then we'll go in and add some detail to it. Okay, so I'm just setting this one aside because this is kind of where I test my stuff out, and then this will be the one that I'll keep for me to um, save the countdown and all that stuff. So I'm gonna go in and start coloring all these in. Okay, so all the stickers are colored in purple, the ones that I'll be using. I won't be using the circle ones, but I do love these ones and these ones. So that looks really cool. I love that it's that easy to use. And what I wanna do before I start finalizing it, since this is gonna be the one that I will be for sure using, I'm gonna do my test run on one of these. Just to see how I like how it looks. And since I, like I said, I have several of these options. So I'm gonna let that dry, but while it's drying, I do want to um, add some decorative elements. So I'm gonna bring out a thicker pen. This is a number two, and I also will bring out my white jelly roll um, pen. What I wanna do first is, for example, like that, and then draw palm tree. All right, so I did a little test run of how I wanted it to be written out before I officially write it out here. Um, and I kind of like this cute little like llama that I drew out and then um, it's just gonna say two months and then use the white jelly to kind of make a couple of little polka dots on it. And I think that's pretty cute. It's simple and to the point. So um, I see the llama will let me know it's time for go out. So I'm gonna go ahead and start drawing in these with my pen and my jelly roll. All right, so I did my two months again because I like this one. It looks a little bit crisper than that one. And then, like I showed you guys, a little bit of white jelly goes a long way on markers. And that is first one done. So cute. So I'm gonna do, um, in this one, two months, and then one month, and then, or I'll probably do two months is eight weeks, and I'll do um, six weeks, one month, go by two weeks format in these ones, and then these will be my my day count. So it'll be like, um, maybe I'll start my countdown 20 days away. I'll figure out how many days I can get out of this. So I do wanna do a, day count, a daily countdown. This is more of a weekly so countdown. I have the first um, section done, which is like the, mainly the, the weeks and months countdown. So I have two months, six weeks, one month, three weeks, two weeks, one week, day one, day two, day three, day four. And these are actually when you're at the event. And now these are gonna be the daily countdowns where it's um, one day. Instead of day one, it'll be one day left. All right guys, my countdown stickers are done and I love how they turned out. Um, I love just adding a, that little white jelly pen effect to it, like the little polka dots. Hopefully you guys can see this and it's coming in clear on the camera. But I have all my countdown stickers. It was super easy to do, nothing complicated other than coloring it in, writing out the whatever it has to say, um, maybe adding a little doodle and then some of the white jelly in it. It's easy for you guys to have your own countdown stickers if you're going to go wild. I know we want to purchase everything because I, I mean, I'm telling you, there's so many cute stickers out there. I did let myself buy one sticker sheet, but I did want to use what I have on hand and my creativity and um, really challenge myself to use what I have available for me. So I can also save money for the actual conference. But I'm so excited with this. I can't wait to start using this and my mini planner that I'll be using for Go Wild. I'll be listing these out, um, and I believe in the horizontal planner section that I'll have in my planner. But I'm ready for Go Wild countdown starting with two months soon.
All right, now it's time to actually make some fun decorative stickers that I'll be using my spread since my countdown ones are done. And this one, I'm just gonna do a freehand sketch of what I want to incorporate here. Um, so let's get to it and having fun sketching. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start sketching. For sure, I wanna have some Disney elements because Disneyland is one of the options. Um, the plain jamma with some PJs. Um, and then just like something that looks like a planner. So I'm just gonna kind of go with the flow. And then um, I'm just trying to see if I wanna do some this way and then leave these horizontally. So they're not all this way. So I might actually turn this around and make it like this because normally I plan in a vertical box layout and they fit better like this. And then also for my horizontal planner portion of the spreads that I'll be using in this one, because I, I have a uh, monthly checklist that I have as part of the planner process. And then this is an undated one that I'm gonna be using just this portion of it. So I just wanna see what's gonna fit in here. I think vertical will be a better way to draw. So let's get to drawing in a vertical layout format. and I'm loving this, just so cute. So like I said, I'm leaving some of these blank because I'm just gonna color them in and use other stickers. Um, like for example, inside Plastel Tropics, there's some really great ones for Go Wild. So I might incorporate some of these. I think there was one that says Wild and Free, but I just wanna make sure it's gonna fit inside here, which I don't think it'll fit. But just if you guys have this, this is a really great one for Go Wild. I think I might incorporate the gold foil and do an orange backdrop and use these, but I love it. So first let me color all these stickers in and then I'll show you how I decorate these ones.
Hey light makers, I'm done with my stickers, my DIY stickers for my Go Wild planning and I'm really happy with how it turned out. I'm happy that I was able to put my own style in um, creating some stickers that I can personally use in my per um, planning. And I love the countdown stickers. I can't wait to start using these. And you saw how easy it is just to use the journaling sticker book and some markers. And you don't even have to doodle. Um, I showed you some options of how to overlay with some icons to create your own little stickers. So this one I have um, a planner with some pens so when I'm at, at the conference I could take down notes. Planner babe with the confetti for the confetti wall. Eat, sleep, craft, repeat. Basically what we're gonna be doing over there. Um, and then this one is planning as my happy hour for um, karaoke night, the happy hour night. And also I think there's like happy hour at Planjama. Then there's the llama wood, just love that. Planjama, so cute with the Target PJs. And then we have Go Wild with Mickey. And then this one, I just left the print by itself. If later on I do wanna add some alphabet stickers, I will, but I just like the print by itself. Um, so sometimes it's even fun to create your own little print if you have trouble finding prints that go with your color screen schemes. Um, you just saw how easy it was to just doodle and then um, add some color to it. My cute little llama rocking his sunglasses, SoCal. Um, the swag bag, I love the swag bag. And I love this one, karaoke night with the microphone. And then all I did was add um, with the white jelly pen, some stars and some like um, sparkle and it just dressed up the sticker. It was super easy to do. And I really love my own DIY sticker sheet for Go Wild. So I had fun doing that. And hopefully this inspires you guys to use stickers in a creative format. Um, we have a lot of sticker books and sometimes I know it's easy to see all these other things and I've bought stuff. I've already got some stuff for Go Wild, but I also wanted to make sure that I used what I had um, so I didn't go crazy with stickers and I actually am happy having created some of my own and my own countdown stickers. So I'm gonna be incorporating this with the uh, sticker sheet that I purchased as well as I can't wait to put my cover on my planner. So stay tuned for me setting up this planner. Once I get the cover, I'll show you what it looks like and I'll show you what the countdown looks like um, inside the planner itself. But I'm so excited, I cannot wait. Um, for Go Wild, and I will keep sharing more of my prep for Go Wild here on my YouTube channel, so make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell to let you know when I've posted up my most recent video. And as always, guys, peace and love.